Hi dear students, welcome to my first video on the topic Internet of Things. This subject is prescribed for 6th semester students of BCA under Kela University and uh, it is an elective paper for 6th semester BCA student. Now we can check what is the aim of this paper. The aim of this paper is to introduce the basic concepts of operational technology and informational technology. And the objectives of this paper is to get deep knowledge about the IoT network engineering, that is the different objects that is from the smart objects to uh, the objects that connect them to the applications like data analytics and security and also uh, this paper guide up through the different types of smart objects that is uh, from the simple record information uh, to the objects that perform actions in response to changes and also to guide uh, through the different common application protocols to generic and web-based protocols and also to get basic knowledge about the security particles for IT and OT, that means uh, informational technology and operational technology. So we can start with the first module and the first module deals with the introduction to IoT, that is evolution, then the advantages, disadvantages and the different objects that are used in IoT and also it deals with the IoT network architecture and design. First we can check what is IoT. IoT means Internet of Things. So Internet of Things is a network of physical objects or people called things that are embedded with software, electronics, network, and sensors that allow these objects to collect and exchange data. And the thing in IoT can be any device with any kind of built-in sensors with the ability to collect and transfer data over a network without manual intervention. The embedded technology in the object helps them to interact with internal states and external environments which in turn helps in decision making process. IoT is a concept that connects all the devices to the internet and let them communicate with each other over the internet. So IoT is a giant network connected devices all of which gather and share data and we can say iot is a technology transition in which devices will allow us to sense and control the physical world by making objects smarter and connecting them to an intelligent network when objects and machines can be sensed and controlled remotely across the network a tighter integration between the physical world and the computers is enabled and this allows for the improvement in the areas of efficiency accuracy automation and also it uh, helps in the enablement of advanced applications and now we can check the birth of iot the age of iot started from the years 2008 and 2009 and during this period the number of devices connected to the internet eclipsed the world's population with more things connected to the internet than people in the world a new age was born and that age was known as internet of things and the term internet of things was uh, first mentioned by the person Kevin Aston 
in a presentation to Procter and Gamble in 1999. And uh, Kevin used this phrase to explain a new idea related to think linking the company's supply chain to the internet. And uh, this uh, Kevin Ashton is a co-founder of MIT Auto ID Lab. And also he developed RFID, that means radio frequency identification for barcode detector. So uh, Kevin Aston and the person on a first this term uh, developed either that is Internet of Things. And uh, he is also uh, he also developed RFID that is radio frequency identification for reading the barcodes. Barcode detected in the Venditola radio frequency uh, developed either them. This uh, Kevin Tanyana. Then uh, there is a quote that is a famous quote by Kevin Aston, and it was written in 2009 uh, in the in a journal that is if we had computers that knew everything there was to know about things using data they gathered without any help from us we would be able to track and count everything and uh, greatly reduce waste loss and cost we would know when things needed replacing repairing or recalling and whether they were fresh or past their best. We need to empower computers with their own means of gathering information so they can see, hear, and smell the world for themselves in all its random glory. So, uh, Kevin Aston, in another term, developing another main reason, it is the thinking that. Uh, computers can sense everything by its own that is without the intervention of a person so we know that uh, the computers were depending on humans for uh, data and knowledge then only they were able to work so uh, the IOT means uh, it is different from the computers that were depending on the humans for data and knowledge. IoT means uh, the computers can uh, take its own data. That is, it can collect its own data and it can take decisions accordingly without the help of a human being. So, angane or a term ana IoT gonda mean change That is. It can collect the data, it can work accordingly uh, by uh, connecting to internet. Internet of things. So the first assignment question for this topic is define IoT. Complete the assignment and forward it to the email ID provided to you. Thank you.